Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So, cancer, this reading will be for you if you have any cancer placements, if you're dealing with the cancer. All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Oh, before I get into your reading, I am doing a competition. So, if you follow me, if you subscribe to the channel, you already know. Um, I'm doing a tarot card giveaway, okay, on this Friday coming now. So, it's Wednesday when I'm posting this video. So, all you've got to do is like, subscribe, comment where you're watching from, okay, and all the best to you, okay. Um, Let's get straight into your reading, guys. I'm going to see, I'm going to do a general reading and a love reading for you uh, this week. So I'm going to get um, one angel number and I'm going to use the new deck, a new uh, deck that I really like. I feel like it's really insightful and it's been bang on as well. So that's uh, perfect. Anyways, cancer, one message for cancer, please, from the angel number deck. Number seven, I am brilliant. Okay. And it says here, you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most, okay? Now, being a water sign, guys, you'll totally get that. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are as daydreamy as, as uh, say, for example, Pisces, but um, it definitely helps you stay in tune and connect with spirit anyways so let's see all right all right so what's the overall energy for cancer please i just heard um take your time then i heard that bobby valentino song like that's old school that's uh, bobby valentino um slow down so somebody could be trying to get to know you or some, there's something about not rushing into a situation, okay? All right, let's see what this says. So we have, how can I be more kind to myself and, other, and offer more grace in this very moment? Okay, growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. Mm -hmm. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. That's so true. And today's soul, soul action is look at yourself with a grace filter. I think that says you are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in the hole that your soul's truth. Fill in the hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite. You are loved and you are already there. OK, guys. All uh, right, so general, let's use this deck. Tell me about cancer, please. For the next, well, whenever they watch this, for whenever cancer watches this reading. Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have an increase in money. Or some of you guys are studying something that may help you with money. Let's see. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, it's definitely like it's, it's picking up work. So I see you. Oh, slowly does it. That makes sense. Slow down. So some of you guys, um, you're understanding the 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 um, how can I put this? The benefit of of not cutting uh, corners in regards to something. Some of you guys may want to change career path or. Um, if it's not changed, it could be add a different stream, another, another stream of income. OK, I do see there could also be someone working with you, um, working for you, something like that. But there's money's looking good. OK, it will get to that place where you're like, OK, I can do a bit more, not just save and penny pinch. OK, tell me more, please. Some of you guys can be connecting with the Earth sign as well. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about cancer, please. Okay. Mellow. So I'm just, I'm, I was just, I just heard the word mellow. So I haven't even looked, before I look at the cards. Um, it's either where you guys are in a very calm uh, state or will be okay now if it's in regards to your work listen or, or money 
that definitely makes um, life a bit easier in regards to certain things, okay? Um, being able to pay off bills, do certain things that you want to do, help out people that you that you uh, love, that you, you know, giving back, stuff like that. So something in your life, Cancer, is going to allow you to be calm. It's giving me like the temperance kind of energy, tranquility, peace, okay? Um, so we have the King of Cups, okay? So some of you guys, there could be a water, oh, you are, that could be you, let me see. So we have the King of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, then the Hanged Man in Reverse. Remember what I said about slow, slow down? The Knight of uh, Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, all right? And the King of Cups, that's someone who, let's just say, is in, emotionally intelligent, somebody who... Either you, you, some of you guys are not jumping into something. We've got the hanged man in reverse as well. You're thinking in a certain way, Cancer, where it's going to benefit you. Okay, so say, for example, if you have rushed into connections in the past and it's just it's fizzled out really quickly and you're like, why did I give so much? Why did I open up? Why did I give my, maybe my body, my energy to this person when it didn't end up being anything? You, there's a certain level of, I want to say there's definitely boundaries. There's definitely a lot of respect for yourself, your situation, who you are today. That's going to allow you to progress in regards to your love, love life as well. And how how people see you, how you see yourself, okay? Very good reading. I, I'm liking the energy. All right, I'll, I'll get a few more cards and I'll move on to your love reading. Tell me more, please. For cancer. The Ten of Cups. Ten, ten of Cups. Look at that. It's a standard that you set. It's a standard that you set what you want, okay? What's required um, of yourself or somebody else that you're dealing with, okay? It's also your family or the family that you have. It's about how you love each other, how you interact with each other, how you... So this is looking so good cancer like i don't know what you guys have been doing to get to this stage whatever it is is working so if you've been wondering if you're on the right path yes if you're wondering am i doing the right things if the, if you're resonating with this yes okay and if you're a cancer that maybe you're thinking actually no i don't feel like that that way right now incorporate implement those things into your life the, those the cert, certain uh, methods, cert, certain sta certain standards for yourself, okay? And don't beat yourself up too much as well because sometimes you can't, there's things that we can't control and, you know, if somebody wants to leave, let them leave, okay? If, if you, if whatever it is, okay? But I feel like this is a standard that's been set. Whether you're with somebody or not, okay? All right, so actually I'll leave that there. I feel like that's enough for the general reading. Let's do a love reading. Okay, did pick it up. So that's how you're feeling overall, which I love. So let's use this deck. Tell me about cancer, please, in regards to their love life. What's currently going on? Uh, I just heard I'm so into you and I got the SWV song uh, 90s okay um, 90s slow jams R&B however whatever category it is um, and I was just going through the lyrics and I was thinking what was the situation the situation now not, not for all of you I'm not sure if this is current or this is like a past thing um, or predicting something there's someone, so I'm not sure if I'm not sure who's who, if this is how you're feeling or if this is somebody feeling this about you. Someone's connected to somebody. 
yeah someone's got a main person but someone else really likes them and wants them and just can't get over that feeling okay um maybe that's funny as well because that's really the complete opposite to what i've just spoken about and maybe that's where the boundaries thing comes into it like not allowing somebody to interfere with the connection no matter how strong the lust is the attraction the chemistry all those things yeah all right let's see not for everybody but that's that's what i got so uh tell me about cancer in the love life please the empress so if you guys are dealing with a taurus so you have taurus in your chart there may be a pregnancy you may hear about a pregnancy okay uh i want to say for the first card to come out in the love reading it's definitely looking good let's see things are going somewhere it's like steadily does it so things are going somewhere getting better so we have the knight of ooh, knight of swords and the ten of pentacles guys okay If if someone's not sweeping you up or coming towards you, cancer, they're like, cancer, you're you're the one I'm interested in. Someone's gonna put a lot of effort into you. Okay, and this could be cross watcher, this could be how a cancer is with you as well. Ten of Pentacles, wow. So some of you guys may it may be uh, a baby, it could be marriage, money like I picked up on in the in the general reading, okay, things looking good. Stability, overall stability, okay? I just heard this is my sacred space. Some of you guys have a certain area in your home or it could be out and about. Maybe maybe you live across from a park or a lake or something or something like that and there's a spot that you love where you feel like you can reflect on your thoughts or when you go to when you kind of feel like you're overwhelmed with, with certain things. So it's either a, a certain place in your home or it's somewhere outdoors. This is my sacred space. I'm picking up on a very, um, a very, I want to say this is very intentional, okay? So the, I'm getting a lot of self-love, uh, personal development from this group of cancers that i'm picking up on which is really nice all right tell me more please so if you guys you could be could be connecting with a um air sign as well aquarius shemini libra so if you guys somebody could be like your person could be a bit younger than you as well oh okay i really get that um some of you uh, some of you, not not all of you, but I, I've never got this before in a reading. Certain cultures, when someone's pregnant, I don't know if it's pregnancy or when they get, I, I know definitely when they get married, but um, money's given to the bride. I think that's in certain Asian, um, like you might see it, like they'll have money on their wedding dress and stuff like that. I, th I think... I, you know, don't quote me on this now, but I think it's mostly Asian communities and the African community. I, I don't know which one exactly, but it's not a Western thing. That's for sure. Yes, they'll gift and stuff like that, but it's more so of actual money. So some of you guys could, you could um, have a background like that with your person. Okay, anyways, tell me more. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, why does that come out, please? Really? We, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot. Some of you guys have been listening to music, like a lot of songs, or you really, really connect with music. I just heard uh, Whitney Houston. Um, I'll have nothing. Someone's. This, okay, I'm just going to kind of like quickly summarise this. So I feel like 
either somebody will choose you over say for example friends family certain beliefs um whatever it is okay even though maybe their family friends don't 100% agree with something but they're willing to make that they're willing to take that chance or you are okay could be a simpler thing of like age difference different culture completely different race um different classes whatever it is okay language barrier um two, two of cups nine of wands and the ace of swords i okay i'm hearing like a conversation now someone saying like please think about this consider this think about your future think about your options so has somebody tried to um steer you away from this person or some of you guys this is your own thoughts thinking i need to think about my future how it's going to look Somebody's ignoring a conversation as well. Uh, just like specifically, it was a man that um, that I just saw. We need to discuss this, okay? Um, but this person seems like they have a lot of, of authority. So it could be a father figure, a brother, maybe someone's son, okay? It could, it could be a priest, somebody, uh, some someone who's who has authority in your life or their life. Sure, it reminds me of a little bit. Another Disney reference, here we go. Uh, Pocahontas and, and John Smith, okay? Um, the Pocahontas family, her tribe, they were not about that life. They did not want her to marry John Smith. They, the thought of her, this, um, I don't, was she Indian? Don't come for me, I don't, I don't remember. But um, marrying somebody up that's not from her culture, like it was like what are you doing so that it could be something like that it doesn't have to be a culture thing but there's some kind of difference where it's like something about traditional things not being kept uh going as well all right i'll get last message before i close this up it's getting a lot of uh random things for you today cancer we have the six of swords packing my bags and 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 i did get running away but i don't feel like it, it feels like that because it's kind of like not announced not like hey guys i'm going i'm leaving this is what i'm doing it's kind of like right i'm doing this this is what i'm doing someone's doing this regardless so even if it's not you cancer it could be somebody um close to you that has cancer placements okay that's experiencing this i could be speaking about somebody that's for example a virgo a sagittarius but they have a cancer moon or 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 rising or a Ven uh, venus and they could be going through this so if it's not you it could be somebody around you and if it does resonate with them like if you feel like you know that it's going on with them send it to them uh i'll get one last card well i'll see anyway let's see what comes what comes out let's see what comes out the magician wait Four of Pentacles. Someone feels like that someone's got a hold over them. Okay, like somebody may, like someone's got them in the palm of their hands. Both of these people are using their hands. The magician's like this, and the Four of Pentacles is holding on. So, or well, this is just how you feel. Like I, that's how I feel. I feel this person is is it has got me. Either way. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information's in the description. Comment where you're watching from, okay? And good luck with the competition. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye, guys.